This week we are at one of the flagship burger joints for the city of Tulsa, Hardin's Hamburgers. Since 1939, they've served hamburgers. They were also a KFC at one point. That's true. They can do a lot of things well. Let's go ahead inside. Let's get some grub. It's all on the secret spices. Mm -mm. <laughs> What's happening? How's it going? Welcome to Hardin's. I can help you. I think I'm going to get a number nine bacon egg rebel burger. And can I get nice. uh, some onion rings with that? Yep. Do you guys make shakes? It come, yes. Give him a shake. All right, we'll get a chocolate shake. Chocolate <laughs> shake. It comes with whipped cream and sprinkles. Oh, oh sprinkles are I'll for winners, the, dude. I'll take that all. <laughs> all right. Cream, sprinkles. And the Rebel Burger comes with mayo, egg, bacon. You want lettuce and tomato? We'll get it. Can I get it? Light mayo. Light mayo. Um, and then, yeah, no Let, veggies. No veggies. Let's we'll keep the veggies off. For you? Yeah, let me get the girl's quarter pounder. <laughs> really? You're going to get a girl burger around here? All right. <coughs> With cheese. What comes it, it comes with mustard, pickle, onions. Love it. Lettuce and tomato? No, sir. Jalapenos? On the side. No lettuce and tomato, but on the side. Yeah. I'll Can take cook? a little mayo on there, too, if you don't All mind. All right, a little mayo, too. Yep. French fries, tater tots, okra, onion rings. Onion rings. Onion rings. What to drink? Coke? I mean, small drink, large shakes. drinks. Shakes, draft beer. I think you should get you a shake. I'm going to go with the, uh, I'll take a root beer. Root beer. You know what? Root beer float. Root beer float. Get your root beer uh, float. Oh, okay. <laughs> root beer float it is. <laughs> All right. I'll get started on you. I'm gonna give you guys a jack. All right. Space. Excellent. Put this is your... like the this is like Price is Right size. That's, That's right. right. Talking to Tony Rodriguez of Hardens. You bought this 2014. Yes, sir. And uh, kind of talk about you know what it was that inspired you to. Purchase this, what you knew of the place beforehand. Um, I'm, I'm also a manager at FedEx, and the employee that owned this for 23 years is my driver. And through the conversations with him and I over the course of the, our employment there at FedEx, I, I thought, you know, if I can budget a million dollar operation at FedEx, I could probably do this. Um, never been in the restaurant business, but know about customer service and love people. Love talking with people, love to get to know, know people, and it's kind of what inspired me to try to do it. Also, my mom, from California and and all she did was at, sit at the house and kind of worried about what was going on and I thought you know this will get her out of the house get her doing things and customers love her always where's my mom where's my mom she's introduced some Mexican food here charro beans and other things that just people didn't really enjoy in this type of area so that's kind of the reason I did it nice. Now the history goes back to the 30s, right? 37, yeah, 39? Yeah, 1939 is when Hardin's Hamburgers came about. And it was actually right down the street where the fish market's at. Um, that's where the original Hardin's Chicken was. And then he introduced Hardin's Hamburgers, and, the, and then Rick took it from there and, and knew Johnny Hardin originally. Gordon Hardin, the son of Johnny, still comes to the restaurant and eats. And uh, he says it tastes just like his dad when he made it. So nice. that makes me feel good that at least we have a tradition that just kind of keep going. Is that one of the things like when you when you took over, you kind of learned of the processes and everything that they did to make yeah, sure. Yeah, Rick West, uh, the guy I bought it from, he showed me all the processes. And uh, as a matter of fact, he just kind of gave me a book the other day to read about how Johnny thought his philosophy and trying to be consistent about the product that you make and. It's difficult to try to please everybody, and if you take time to try to please the ones that are pretty vocal, you may lose the ones that are dedicated to Hardin. So I try to get back to doing that because, you know, the customers, the one that come in and eat this are the dedicated ones, and, and I need to do it the way Johnny Hardin did it so it still tastes the same. Right. Now let me ask you about the seasoning. You said uh... it's a it's a it's a special Hardin seasoning that was that Johnny produced. I don't know the ingredients behind it. I just order it, and it comes already blended for me. And I just add it to the burger, and it, it just gives it a unique taste that people distinguish. That even haven't been here in 20 years, they'll come back and go, "Man, that's what I—that's <laughs> what my, my taste buds envision." Nice, that. nice. So, that's what we like to hear. Being in Tulsa for as long as you have now, um, Hardin's obviously one of the one of the you know main burger places in town. Uh, 
there are so many of them. Is that is that also something that kind of drew you into this? It's the fact that the he talks about the burger culture of the town is just yeah. it's really strong. I, I just when I first moved to Tulsa, I came from Southern California as well, and, and you had Tommy's Burgers, In and Out, and that was one thing that did drive me when I met Rick. I was like, hey, this Hamburg place is a one of a kind. It's not like your ch normal chain restaurants. Right. It's just a one-of-a-kind in town that it was a nostalgia that everybody knew. And I lived in Downey, California, where they had one of the first original McDonald's, and it still has the old arches. That yeah. restaurant still exists. So when I, when this came about, I, I kind of got it gave me the chills again to think, hey, I'm going into something similar to where I grew up in, in Downey, California, where this has been an establishment that everybody knows here in town, and kind of made me reflect back when I was a young kid. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, on the side. Over the top on that oh. thing. Look at that. Oh, oh my sky hook. <laughs> there you go. And oh, uh, Brittany's got oh. your shakes for you guys. Look at that. Oh, excellent. Wow. Ooh. Are you oh. kidding me? This is, we're in trouble. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need Dude, one. I don't know, you're gonna need a shovel. Ooh, Come on, sit. Have, have a seat. Join us. Straw. Ooh, wait. Mm. Little appetizer. There you there go. Is. I'm gonna. You have to do it California there style. You go. And go. You know. It is the girl's burger, right? Yeah, that's the right, so girl. Unfortunately, you little the, girly burger. So. That's okay. <laughs> I'm mm. gonna have to. Thank you. I'm gonna have to compartmentalize such a. Now, do people usually? So chili on the top. Yeah, when I, when I first moved here from California and I saw that, I originally saw Tommy's sure. Burger, and, the, and when I first bought it, the employees that were here still remained, and so the first time they did a chili burger, I was like, Whoops. is that the way you guys are supposed to do that? <laughs> I'm like, yes, everybody loves it that way. I'm like, oh, how do you grab the burger? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're forced to use a... Mm -hmm. mm. The oh. seasoning speaks for itself, now yeah. I know why. Perfect mm -hmm. amount of everything on this thing. Wow. Yeah, it has a completely different taste to any burger that we've had so far in Tulsa. Oh, good. Way different. Um, it's more pronounced. It's weird. It's almost, yeah, it almost has get, a zing to it. Yeah, you can taste good. that seasoning in there. Mm -hmm. Now, we know a lot of the history behind this place and the fact that, you know, you've, you've owned this now for almost four years. I would imagine you've got customers that come through here that you've now become familiar with. Absolutely. That are so familiar with this place and, and the history of the place. and and how good the burgers are. I, I imagine you got some stories talking to people that have been here for years. Yes, it's, you know, I, I have a, a customer that, that brought their third generation. So their grandfather brought them here, they've come here, now they've brought their child here. And just to, to hear the stories they have of, hey, you know, my father actually gave that to Johnny Harden. The customer came in and told him that, hey, you know that sign right over there is actually I'm the one that gave that to Johnny Hart and Wow, it's 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 a pretty neat experience to hear generation after generation to keep continue to come here. It kind of feels good that hey, I'm still carrying on the tradition. It still tastes the same to them, and mm -hmm. that's that's what makes me happy. Now the logo, you guys can't see it at home. I'm sure we'll cut to it, but I love the logo with the globe. And the globe. Hat. Now is that a Hardin's logo? That was a Hardin's logo. So. Original logo. We need to make some t-shirts and hats, man. I know. We, we, we are. We have, we've had made some, and we're in the process of making some more. And, I uh, love it. Something about it is that old school American. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, Sally from the preview, uh, she used to work at the preview, now she has Creative Pixel. She actually took one of the oldest original Hardin's uh, logos that I found online and had her recreate it. And so that's where we're moving forward to kind of. Nice. Revitalize Hardens, and we're using it at the at the new location in, inside of Mathis. In terms of the the history of the place, the fact that it's been a KFC, the fact that it's you know been serving burgers since the 30s. I mean, that's an interesting history. Right there. It is absolutely. To think back when Johnny Harden first started, a lot of the customers still request the boned-in chicken, um, and it's a request that I have very often right now. Our chicken is is uh, non-boneless. It's uh, chicken tenders, but it takes them back to when Johnny was around and go, hey. I love Johnny Hardin's uh, boned-in chicken. Do you guys still have that? Yeah, the seasoning, again, tastes the same, but to think back of when he started this, it started off as a chicken place, and then he introduced burgers, and then 
you know, it's been burgers ever since, and we, we do serve chicken, but it's primarily burgers. What is your chicken to burger ratio? Do you? Um, normally we do about four, for every 10 customers, probably seven of the customers take a select burger. Nice. Three, three yeah. go with chicken options. We, 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 We've talked before where it's a, it's a faux pas, in my opinion, to bring someone to a burger spot and, and then they're like, uh, how's the chicken, you know? Right. So it's usually someone who's off burgers if there's right. such a thing. Do you guys do okra? Yes. Did you know what okra was before you got here from LA? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can explain uh, for people who outside of the, the Oklahoma area what okra is, because it was offered to me. I tried it fried, I guess. I've yes. tried it. Unfried. I've yeah. tried, it just, oh, it's just it's a it's a vegetable, and we bread it, and people love it. I, I can't believe the the aura about okra when I first tried. It, I was like, what is that? What about you and okra? Do you partake? I do. I do. It's delicious. Yeah. When I lived in Michigan, I I never I never I didn't have it till I came here. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. You can slather it with barbecue sauce. You can do anything with it. You can eat it with chicken. You can eat it with. Pretty much, you put it on, probably put it on a burger. That's what's cool about these is that you you go to different places and They're all the onion different. rings are, now, my mom took are a different lot of pride in different in places. These right. are so thinly cut. Right. My mom takes a lot of pride in her in in, in those onion rings, and she'd she kind of be disappointed with me because they don't visually look like to her standards, but they taste <laughs> the same. There have been a few different locations in uh, you know the 75 years or so the Hardens has been around. How long has this one been? Um, the it started. It was down. Hardin Chicken was down board, over by where the fish Park, and then Rick moved it over to 15th Street, and it was just right down the street on 15th for a while. And then something happened, and then in the in the in the around the 80s, he moved it here to this location. It's been here ever since. Now the the 15th Street one is that the one in UHF in the Weird Al Yankovic, Yankovic movie? movie? It is right. Yeah. yeah, that's his favorite. There you go, Weird Al. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, came to Hardin's Hamburgers. That's it. Saw Hosier on the wall over here. Yeah. Have you uh, had? Uh, you have people coming here from time to time. I have had some people come. Uh, that was interesting. We, at the time when I bought it, Hardin's wasn't open on Sundays, and then we get a phone call from the heart uh, from the uh, Rolling Stone magazine, and basically said, "Hey, this is so and so from Rolling Stone. Would you be interested in, in uh, hosting someone that's coming into town from England?" I'm like. Sure, and it's like the only problem is it's on a Sunday, and I'm like, no problem. Who is it? It's like Hosier, and at the time I didn't really know who Hosier was. Yeah, who's Hosier? Right. For people and so, at home, I don't know who's yeah. Hosier. <laughs> Musician. Oh, Hosier, Hosier. Of course, Hosier. <laughs> so at the time, and so I, yeah, we said, sure enough, we'll open it up, and uh, it was about one o'clock, and they said, well, we'll be here at twelve. Well. One o'clock came around, nothing. Two o'clock, it was about 1.45, and we're like, oh man, we just got doped. Somebody just played a joke on us, <laughs> and no big deal. Sure enough, a van pulled up, an entourage walked out, and we're like, oh my goodness, there he is. And there was Hoger. And it was interesting, there was a couple that drove all the way from Missouri, came to town to listen to his concert, and they happened to stop here because they read it in an article that, hey, Hardin's is one of the best hamburger places in the South. And so they sat here, and I asked them, hey, where are you guys going? They're like, oh, we're going to the Hoger concert. I'm like, well, if I can tell you stuff that he's actually coming here to eat, and they're like, no way. <laughs> and so they and they had just walked in and they sat here for about an hour. And he was supposed to be here at 12, so he didn't show up. So they waited for an hour and they finally like, hey, we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and leave. And I said, I apologize, I'm sorry. And within five minutes after they left, he showed up. And I was like, oh, and I tried to look for him in the concert, but I never found him. <laughs> Finish up now? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Too much bun no, for me, man. I'll tell you what, the egg on here is good. In that's good so stuff. what burger is that? That's the, the Rebel Burger, and that's the you got a motorcycle plaque on the thing. Yes, I have a, a 13 Rebel Club that uh, one day called me up and says, "Hey, Tony, would you mind if we uh, did something at the club, at the restaurant?" The reason they have their here is because they don't go to bars. They try to stay away, try to do positive things for the community, mm -hmm. awesome. and so. Uh, so how was their burger? Cool. Oh my goodness, that was fantastic! Fantastic. Next that's time fantastic. I have to go instead of going the girly route, I'm have to step up. You got to step know. up, man up. Man. I'm working on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now you know we've asked this question of some of the other folks that we've talked to. There are so many burger places in Tulsa. If you're not eating the burger here, is there anywhere else out here that you're? You um, personally. So when you're taking, when yeah. you're off Hardens. When I'm off Hardens, if I go to go get a, a burger somewhere, I don't usually go eat a burger. I, I mean, what's I, your favorite in Tulsa besides Hardens? If there's if another. I had a, if I had to choose a place to go, it would be In and Out Burger. From California. Well played. Since there's <laughs> yeah. no. Uh, 
Now, there's been rumors that there's in and outs coming here. Are you worried? No. 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 It's a totally different experience. Totally different experience. I'm just kidding. The, the rumor was like a. No, it was totally on the different. internet. They were playing that. But, uh, totally yeah, different that, experience. And, so, coming from LA, and I know you can agree. Per capita, let's just say Tulsa, as being a small town, has a lot of standalone, authentic, going back to the late 30. 30s, but most of them around 50s. Um, and it's a slice of a, it's a snapshot of a, of a, of a simpler world. Right. And, and with the internet and all the stuff we're dealing with, political and this, that, and the third, it's nice to just come here and have a burger and feel like what it would have yeah, felt absolutely. like if you had your grandfather with you or your father. Right. It's the place a, a father or grandfather or grandmother or, or mom would take her son or daughter to just get a good right. old all-American meal. Um, price is right. Mm -hmm. um, good service. Customer service is important. important. And then just a, you know, it just a, it has a wholesome, friendly feeling to come to these spots. All of the spots we've been to have been equally impressive in the sense that it just feels like uh, I could just yeah, sit and sit enjoy, and enjoy a, burger. a burger, onion rings, okra, mm -hmm. <laughs> great friend fries, mm -hmm. right. and whatever else, whatever, you know. And what's cool too is, is how each place does it differently. Like every place, different process, different right. pre presentation, and, and it's like there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just a different way to do it. Right. It's just it's right. fantastic everywhere right. we've been. And just uh, I, I think, and I just watched the Food Inc. and it kind of took me back to a different place. But you know, the hamburger is the number one consuming thing that Americans eat. A hamburger, and mm -hmm. so to know for me, I feel that I have not, nothing against everybody else in town. And everybody, there's a lot of good places in town that serve mm -hmm. burger. In my opinion, I think by far when I'm moving from California, that the taste that Hardin's provided was something that I really enjoyed. And I still feel it's at the top of the list of most everybody that mm -hmm. can eat around town and hop around. Because we just have a di distinct taste to our burger that stands out before everybody and if, else. And if you didn't think that, you'd be crazy. Because yeah. it's your place. No, right. of course. And you it know, comes out highly recommended. Well, well, I really well, appreciate you guys coming in. Hopefully yeah. enjoy the burger. Mm. Good stuff.